My name is Joshua Gallo. Um, I'm not in any grade. I've <laughs> already graduated. But um, so I'm, I'm originally from Nicaragua. I've been living here for like 10 years now. I came over in 2005 to get a bachelor's degree, and then after that, I got a master's degree. Graduated this May, um, and now I'm working at the Church of Brook Hills in their Hispanic ministry. How is it in my country? Um, well, Nicaragua is a very, I mean, it's, it's a common Latino country. Um, very family oriented. Uh, we care a lot about the family. We're all really close. Uh, we, we get together as a family a lot. Um, it's predominantly Catholic. And um, yeah, we like music. We like dancing. Yeah. Well, um, so I was born there. I was born in Nicaragua. But when I was seven months old, uh, my whole family moved to Germany because my dad got an opportunity to go to school there to get a master's degree. Um, we stayed in Germany for six, seven years, then we came back to Nicaragua, and I was in Nicaragua from when I was seven years old to when I was 18 years old. Um, so I guess about 12 years. That's how long I was there, because then I moved here. What is my culture? Um, I mean, I, I think I would just say it's it's a Hispanic culture. Um, you kind of kind of like what I said earlier. We're we're very family oriented. Um, man, what else can I say about my culture? I mean, we love music. We love to dance. We like to eat. Eat uh, what? what? Eat what? Eat what? Oh man, we have so much food there. Um, we eat a lot of meat. Meat is, is a must. We eat a lot of meat, we eat a lot of rice, we eat a lot of tortillas. Um, fruit, fruit is a huge thing. Like we eat a lot of fruit. Um, I don't know if, if how, how it is in other Latin American countries, but we love to eat sour stuff in Nicaragua. I mean, we eat mangoes and, and a bunch of other fruit that, that you can't find here. Um, well, limes. I used to cut up limes a lot and, and just I put salt on them and suck on, on the lime. It's delicious. What kind of music do I listen to? Um, man, I, I listen to a lot of different music. Um, since I'm a Christian, I listen to a lot of Christian music. Um, but aside from 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 Christian music, I also like to listen to, um, I mean, music in Spanish, like, well, you guys probably have never heard of this band, but Mana, they're great, they're, they're one of the best Hispanic uh, bands ever, um, so I like rock, um, I do listen to salsa every once in a while, merengue, uh, bachata, Um, do I have any family members that are here in Alabama? Yes. Um, I have an aunt, an uncle, and three cousins that are here in Alabama. My mom and my dad are still in Nicaragua. My younger brother is in Germany. And my four older siblings are in California. Um, all of my uncles and aunts from my dad's side of the family are still in Nicaragua and all of my aunts and uncles from my mom's side are on California except the two that are here. Well, I'm Peter. Uh, I'm from Taiwan, which is a small island that's Republic of China. So I'm Chinese, but I'm from Taiwan. 
know it's, a, it's kind of confusing because you think of Chinese people from China, right? But um, because it's a different government in Taiwan, so it's a little bit different, but we're still considered Chinese. And we still eat Chinese food in Taiwan. I moved here when I was 12 years old, so a little bit older than you guys, to the United States. So, um, so I'm, I'm very happy to meet you guys. Uh, my country is Taiwan. It's a small island, and it's really close to the equator, so it's really hot. And the island itself is surrounded by volcanoes, so um, there's very so it's very high mountains. There's, there's not a lot of air moving because there's these mountains that trap all the air in. So it's very hot and humid and sticky and sweaty all the time. Do they erupt? No, they're not, they're, they don't, they don't erupt. Otherwise we'd be in trouble. What's diversity? Yes. Okay, that's a good question. Uh, diversity to me is uh, difference in, in what we do and who we are. And sometimes difference is good, right? And, uh, and just like me and you, we're, even though we're very diverse, meaning that you're, you're from a different country than I am, but we're still together in the United States, living happily, right? How do we, same way we do it in, in, in the United States, I would imagine, right? Um, they have machines there. They're, they're, even though the country is small, um, but they make a lot of stuff and they sell a lot of stuff to the United States. In fact, if you go to Walmart, a lot of stuff are made in Taiwan. If you flip it over on the bottom, right? Or China. We're made in China. Yeah, even toys too. That's right. A lot of toys. So it's not, so US dollar is not um, exactly one dollar. I'm not sure exactly the exchange rate, but the last time I checked, it's one dollar US, which is probably about uh, fifteen to twenty dollars in Taiwanese money. So it's a little bit different. Just like if you go to Mexico, it, it's it's a different exchange rate, right? It's a different it's not one dollar equal one dollar, it's one dollar to however many pesos they are, right? This country? Yes. Okay. Well, first of all, um, it's a small island. It's mostly Chinese people that live in Taiwan. So when you go visit Taiwan, the first thing you're going to notice is that there's a lot more Chinese people around compared to the United States, right? You can imagine. So they speak a different language, right? They speak Chinese, and uh, and the food is different. Uh, even though there's Chinese food here. It's probably not exactly the same as Chinese food over there. Um, but they have music, they have movies, they have toys, they have parks, they have amusement parks. I mean, all the stuff that you would find here would be the same over there. Except it's a different language and different people. Is, is uh, Taiwan pretty? Yes, it's a, it's a tropical island, so they have a lot of tropical plants and flowers and fruits, very different from the United States, um, so it's, it's very pretty. Hello, my name is Sol Bojona. I live in Natasek. I'm a restless. Life was good. Uh, my husband bring me here. Mm, I come the first time I come to learn, but after I bring my kids, then school, 
as good to work and help them to continue their education. We have like a 52 language. Back home, I'm Taylor. I saw stuff here. Yeah. Originally born in Chicago, Illinois, but my father is from El Salvador. Actually, um, my dad is from El Salvador. I was born in the United States, um, but he came here because he couldn't find any work back home, and uh, they were just starting the Civil War, so it wasn't much that could. Now, yes, um, El Salvador does use the U.S. dollar for their money. They didn't always. Uh, I think it was about seven years ago they used what was called the Colón. And it was paper money, but it was also a coin. Uh, it was based on Christopher Columbus, the Colón. Right now they do use the American dollar. Absolutely. Uh, I was born here, so the United States is my home. I feel a little less comfortable actually when I go back to El Salvador since I've grown up here in the United States. Um, but yeah, it's very nice. I would say life isn't easy in El Salvador now. <laughs> it wasn't then either. Uh, El Salvador's gone through a lot of changes in the last 20 years. They had a civil war um, where a lot of people left El Salvador because it just wasn't safe to be there anymore. And now there's many, many gangs in El Salvador, so it's still very dangerous to live there. Um, on top of that, it's actually very, very, very warm. <laughs> uh, Alabama gets hot and humid, and El Salvador very much more so. So it's, it's not an easy place to live, but it's a very beautiful country, and the people are very kind. Actually, the majority of my family is in El Salvador. Um, I have ten pairs of aunts and uncles uh, and about 87 cousins in El Salvador. So, a good, good size of my family. Uh, oh, I don't know the exact figure, but El Salvador, I think, has something in the area of it's about the size of the state of New Hampshire. Not too big. Very, very small country. 